There we go. Here it is, everybody. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's... It's a Disney music tier... Wait, music? Oh, no. No. Disney movie tier list. It's got all the, all the Disney movies in here. This was recommended on Discord. Hold on, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up real quick. Hang on. This one was the minute, if I remember correctly. Memory is bad. It was jacked. Jack sent this over. So we're gonna take a look at this. Seems to have almost all the Disney movies in there. Almost all the animated ones. These I think do include the Pixar stuff too. So this ought to be fun, y'all. Alright. Guys, I know. We got a, we got a, quite a bit of these to go through. I'm gonna tell you what I liked about them, what I didn't like about it, and then of course I'm gonna put them in this tier list right here. Let's look at our tiers, shall we, chat? We have double S for godly. This is for the elite, the best of the best. The these are movies that cannot be taught. These are my all-time favorites, and I could watch these anytime in my life and still get something out of them. Next up is S tier for amazing. Amazing is, well, amazing. It's like the stuff that I love. Not as much as God tier, but like, oh my god, these are fucking great movies. I love them. And I can watch them again at any time. Alright, now hang on, I need, to, I need to set the mood real quick, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna play some of this in the background. There we go. Royalty, as I call it, royalty free Disney music, aka the shit they can't claim, DMCA style. So, this probably won't be on YouTube, for obvious reasons, but we'll see. So, yeah, this is the Genesis version of Lion King. What, you want to fight about it? Now, I gotta ask... Oh, wait, wait. A tier is great. B tier is good. This is right right at the... Right here is where the cusp of the quality starts to wane right now. C is meh. That's like... Eh, whatever. If it's on, probably won't watch it. But, like... Passable by a little bit. Like, it's watchable. D is bad. Like... Don't like it. And F tier is trash. I wonder what's going in there, chat. And lastly, is the final tier. Have not seen. This This doesn't mean good or bad. It just means I, Wolfie, have not seen it for whatever reason. No time. No interest. Just never got around to it. Who knows? There's a lot of reasons. SNES or Riot? You get out of here with that. Who said that? Jin? You get out of here. Nah, the Genesis version is where it's at. I don't know, I like the Genesis version of the soundtrack. Alright. Here's an update on the IDW comics are coming, as far as I know, Scrapnik on the 16th, 55 on the 23rd. Okay, so we got time, we got time. Alright, thanks squad for the update on that. Black Cauldron, I know, right? Oh boy, some of these are gonna be fun. Guys? Alright. You guys ready? First of all, let me, let me, let me ask. Do you, what, what do you guys prefer for this right now? This layout or this layout? Which do you guys prefer for this tier list that I'm doing? Which one is easier on your eyeballs? Do you want the, do you want the actual layout or just me overlaid on top of it? Which will be easier for you? I, this is for you, the viewers. So I need to make sure that y'all can see it and that you're enjoying what you're seeing. Layout 2? Okay, so this is Layout 1 we're in right now. This is my Layout 1. This is Layout 2. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull that up while Lion King plays in the background. The sun rolling high in the sapphire sky, each great and small. Yeah, alright. Well, I've probably given away what I like a lot here. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? There's a Layout pull right now. So remember, chat. Layout Uno. This is layout one, layout two. Quick, vote. Now's your chance. This will determine how the rest of the stream looks. Lion King song is a legend. I, I'm tempted to just play the fucking Disney music here. If we're not uploading this to YouTube, I'm pretty sure Twitch is okay with me playing DMCA music. As long as I'm not showing the actual movie, I think we're good. <laughs> don't, I like he's like, don't. No, don't, don't say it in chat. Vote. Vote. There's a poll up. Alright, y'all. We got a lot of fucking... Holy crap, there's every movie in here. Wow. They even got Salama, Salados Amigos, The Three Caballeros? No one talks about that movie. Holy crap. Do y'all... Oh, we're gonna... Ooh. Is that Ichabod and Mr. Toad? Holy crap. Layout 2 wins. Alright, so this is our preferred layout chat. 
Here we go. Y'all voted for it. Let's do this. Let's get started. Starting us off. Oh, I'll lose a little bit there. How's the audio mixing sound, by the way? Music to voice. Are we good? I think we're good. Starting us off at the uh, top, we got Snow White. How do I feel about Snow White? Oh, God. Hmm. Now, chat, you can go ahead and vote along with me. Tell me what you, where you guys have put Snow White. I think I'm going to put Snow White. Oh, man, this is kind of rough. I think I put it in meh. Like, don't get me wrong. Snow White is kind of what started the whole Disney animation domination. But me personally, would I watch it? Probably just for the animation, but the story itself is fine. Nothing about it in particular stands out for me. I think I put that in meh. That's a strong meh, though. Like, if it was on, I'd glance at it, but I wouldn't actually watch it, you know? You guys are all in agreement, that's a meh. Ah, uh, yeah. It does have some pretty good memeable material that I've used myself, like the editing mines. All right. I think that's all that needs to be said about Snow White. I really don't feel one way strongly, or one way or another about it, so that's a meh. Next up, Pinocchio. Ooh, man. Where would I put Pinocchio? I think I'd put that... I think I'd put that in good. I kind of like it. Like... It's not my favorite. It's not great or amazing, but I think it's definitely better than Snow White. It's got some sick animation in there. And if anything, I, rem I I can't remember a single scene from Snow White other than, I think, The Wicked Witch, where she turns around and goes, yeah! <laughs> but like, Pinocchio, I can name like three moments in that movie that stuck with me in my brain. Particularly, the donkey scene. Y'all remember the fucking horrifying donkey scene? Uh, the fox guy, like, swindling him and taking him off to see that goddamn uh, puppet guy. What was his name? Gaspacho or something like that? That fucking horrible puppet guy? Dude, you work for me! That guy. And, uh... The monstro scene with the whale at the end. Like, I can name a couple of moments in this movie that are fucking strong, so I'll put that in good. Pinocchio's good. I... The, and listen, we're talking about the old ones, not the new ones. I haven't seen the new Pinocchio. I heard it wasn't... I heard it wasn't great. Yeah, kids smoking and drinking beer and whatnot. That movie was hardcore. What was this, like 1940s, 1950s? The donkey scene was trauma. It really was. All right. Fantasia. I used to watch this all the time as a kid, but I don't remember much from it now. I haven't seen it since like 1996 or something like that. It's been a while since I, I have this movie. But I, I, I do not remember a single scene. Well, okay, no, I remember a couple. I remember the devil, the devil, the devil musical with actual Satan. And I remember Mickey, the, the wizard apprentice that they later put in the uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, game. But other than that, I don't recall much from it. It's definitely not meh. But is it a movie I'd watch? I put it below, I think I'll put it below Pinocchio. I know this is like blasphemous for a lot of people, but like... Ah, I don't feel strongly one way. I don't remember much about it. The Devil Was Chernabog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dinosaurs. There was a dinosaur part in there? Mushroom? Oh, I do remember the mushrooms. See, y'all are making me remember uh, Fantasia, but I don't remember anything from it myself. Big Bad Mountain? Don't remember that. Yeah, the problem with... Yeah, Fantasia... You, you rewatch Fantasia for the music and the visuals, really. There's no real story in that. It's just a bunch of animated shorts going with like these big bombastic music pieces which are great but like as a kid I watched them and I was like that was cool can we watch blank movie again you know so eh Fantasia good I, I recognize it as a classic but not not enough to stick in my brain look the dancing hippos in the oh I remember that that was from this movie I thought that was from Fantasia 2000 I thought that was from Fantasia, Fantasia 2000 the unicorn huh yeah, it's definitely a very visual musical movie, but other than that, not much else going for it. We're gonna put that in good. Below Pinocchio, because I think Pinocchio, I like, I think I like Pinocchio more than Fantasia. Dumbo. 
Oh my god, no. Not Dumbo. Oh, where am I gonna put you, Dumbo? Ah, uh, chat, how you feeling about this one? I think I put this one, I think I put it in great. I think I put that in great. <laughs> I tell the story every time I, I, I watch this movie, but this is one of the few animated movies that can make me like tear up every fucking time because that goddamn, what's that one song they play when he meets his mom? What's the, what's that, uh, what's, is it baby, baby of mine or something like that? And it's just, it's just like Dumbo crying with his mom and the mom can't like see him because she's like locked away. It's like, Jesus Christ, that seemed like ter tore up my fucking heart. Yeah, that one, that, that movie's strong for that moment. Also, y'all don't know this, but like I was obsessed with trains when I was a kid. Like we're talking like six or eight years old. And this movie had the opening with the train. And I fucking love that scene every time. I'd rewatch that part with the train, Casey Jr. coming down the tracks. Also, the racist crow. Yes. My mom hated this film for the end of it for those crows. And again, as a kid, I was like, Mom, what, Mama, what is the problem? These crows are funny. They talk funny. They dance. What's, what, what, what's not to like about these crows? And then I grew up and I was like, Oh, ho, ho, I understand now. As a kid, you're innocent. You don't understand what the fuck the crows are supposed to represent. You're just like, oh, singing and dancing crows. What's not to love about these guys? And then you're like, ooh, ooh, I see now. I see now, mama. I see why you didn't like this. Yeah. And I, yeah, you gotta love that old, that was that 1940s racism. I'd be done seen about everything when I see an elephant fly. I seen a horse fly. I seen a house fly. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah. Ugh. Racist as fuck. It, it was a movie of its time. But yeah, definitely, uh... Not a good... Not a good look in hindsight. Did they... Hang on, chat. Has anybody seen the new Dumbo? Does the new Dumbo movie have those crows in there? And are they, like, modernized? Instead of, like, saying, I don't seen about everything, but I ain't never seen no elephant fly. Do they have the crows with the, like, hip-hop? And they're like... Yo, when I see an elephant fly, we will die, or something like that. Well, are they like wearing chains and shit like that? That's how you update and modernize them. Make them, make them, more, make them racist, but like modern racist. Like, oh yeah, if we gotta have them represent black people, make them rappers. No, they're not in there. They're not in the new Dumbo. Disney is bu Disney confirmed a bunch of cowards. You put those crows in there and you modernize them. God damn it. Have them sing the Reese's Puff song while you're at it. All right. I think I've talked enough about Dumbo, but no, no. Uh, real talk, the mo the mom scene, the pink elephants on parade, that shit freaked me out as a kid, but you no, know, pink elephants on parade is super strong. And... Oh, and when the mom, oh, you know a scene I love in this movie that a lot of people don't talk about? When the mom goes off, pops off, and just starts beating those kids, I fucking love that. Especially now, me as a current child hater, I love that scene. Those shit ass kids getting beat by the mom. Remember the mom, like the the kid, those bratty kids, those shitty shit eating grin kids, grabbing Dumbo by his ears and like like messing with messing with baby Dumbo. And then the mom's like, "Oh hell no!" And then she like grabs him, holds him up, and starts whipping his ass. I'm like, "Yes, this movie rules." So dumb. You know what? Amazing. I remember that scene now. Up, it gets bumped up for that. Kids getting beat in the movie. A plus. I'm putting that in S for now. I'm actually, I might, I, might, I might bump that down a little bit. I think I got a little too hype. We're gonna put that in A. Mm. No, I'm gonna put it right here for now. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> what can I say, Chad? Those kids deserved it too. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> it was a deserved pop off. She, put, she went off on those kids so hard. You know their parents weren't beating them back at home. All right, let's go, Bambi. Bambi. Uh, I don't feel strongly one way or another about this movie. I don't know how I feel about this one. What was the story of Bambi? I don't remember. It's like he's a baby, his mom gets shot, he fights another deer, and the movie ends. 
That's the that's the three things I remember about that movie. I do not recall what the fucking story of this movie is. I remember the characters. Is this growth? Uh, it's fine. And is there any music in this movie? I, well, like, are there songs on this? Like, right? Are there like any songs besides like the creepy ass song at the beginning of the movie? <laughs> It's, uh, did you guys, wait, what happened? Bambi actually got scared when I was a kid because of the scary singing at the, yeah, see? That's all I was talking about, squad. The fucking singing in Bambi is haunting. I hate that shit. That old style of singing, that warbly shit, I hate it. Sounds like a theremin. Uh, I'll put that in, I'll put it in good. I think it's a classic, but like, I can't, nothing about it sticks out of my head. Does he even talk when he's like an adult? I, rem I remember when he grows up, he walks around, I think he fights another deer, a fire breaks out, and he escapes. I, I don't remember much of this movie. It's kind of forgettable to me. I think I'll put it in top of meh. No way, I it's not meh, I'll put it in good. Very bottom of good. Yeah, and it's and I said this before and I'll say it again, chat. I was a stupid kid when I watched this. I was like six or eight years old. I didn't know his mom died. I didn't know his mom died. I I thought I assumed she got away. So it did that that part of the movie did not get me as hard as it got everybody else. So if they didn't show a body as a kid, I was like, oh, she got away, right? And I think my mom was too like, she was like, I can't tell this stupid kid. He'll he'll be sad if if <laughs> if I tell him that the mom died. So my mom was just like, yeah yeah sure he got her she got away. So I guess that's why I just I just thought she got away. All right, let's see. Salados, what is it? Salados Amigos. Honestly, I've seen this once, but I'm gonna put this in have not seen because I don't remember a goddamn thing about it. Honestly, Salados Amigos. Don't remember fuck all about this movie, so that goes in have not seen. Three Caballeros though. This is not really much of a movie, as much as it is like a documentary. With little fun animated like cut like cuts in there, but th this movie really taught me about like what was it like? It's like Brazil, like it's it tells you a lot about the culture. Really, it made me feel more cultured when I watch it. And the songs are really catchy too, and it had Donald, uh, I forget the green the green parrot's name and the red guy's name, but like those characters are great. I think I put this one in great. I love the songs a lot. The the. We, uh, we're three cabuleros, three gay cabuleros, da 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 birds of a feather. If you have not seen Three Cabuleros, I recommend you watch it. It's educational as well as kind of entertaining. And it's got Donald Duck in there. So you know that bitch is gonna entertain you. Donald Duck is great. Three Cabuleros, I put that in great. I think I, I think I could watch that again. I remember liking that movie a lot because the songs in there were really, really good. I barely, barely remember Three Cabuleros. Yeah. It's kind of one of those movies you just... Eh. You've seen it. Make Mine Music. I've heard of this one. I think I've seen it, but I don't remember it. So I'm going to put that in Have Not Seen. Fun and Fancy Free. I remember this one. This is the one with Mickey and the Beanstalk. Do y'all know about Mickey and the Beanstalk? One of my favorite, favorite Mickey, Mickey animated anythings. It has some of my favorite fucking, like... <laughs> if y'all have seen that meme where where Donald, Goofy, and Mickey are sitting at the table, like complete poverty mode, and you see them like they're slicing bread, and he slices <laughs> he slices the bread paper thin because they're so poor they have to Oh my god, that shit had me cracking up so hard. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Is it Mickey and the beanstalk? I'm sure if I just show like three seconds of it, y'all y'all will know it when you see it. Hang on, where is it? Uh, bread. This shit was fucking hilarious. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Lay right here. So this is Mickey and the Beanstalk, and this is from this movie, right? You see, I'm gonna show you like in in cuts, so that way we don't get like like cut out. But like Mickey is like cutting bread, right? Because they're all at the table and they're all poor as fuck, and like Mickey cuts this bread, but it's like paper thin. And like, look at this shit. <laughs> like, 
how many of us have actually been here or is like cutting bread and shit it's like they they're just hungry as fuck i'm tearing up this shit had me like dying as a kid and like look at look at donald and shit right he loses his mind they get a bean right they have one fucking bean and they gotta cut this shit and they're like sweat it's, this movie is fucking great if just for this, and he makes a sandwich out of the cut bean. Look at this shit. You can see through it. Look at how thin this is. This shit is so fucking funny. If you have not seen Mickey and the Beanstalk, I recommend you watch it. It is like, it is like S tier, Donald, Goofy, and Mickey. It is so fucking funny. But yeah, it's, it's uh, Jack and the Beanstalk as told and animated with Mickey, Donald, and Goofy in it. It is so fucking funny. Uh... What else is in that movie? I think I think there was a bongo short in there about this this bear that kind of looks like Yogi a little bit that falls in love with another bear. It's kind of whatever, but eh. For that short alone, there's also like this intercut short with like these weirdos from like the 1940s with a ventriloquist that I don't really care about, but like if only for Mickey and the Beanstalk, I put it in great. I might put it in amazing. I think I'll put in a just for Mickey and the Beanstalk. I'll put in amazing. Yeah, if y'all if y'all can if y'all have Disney Plus, please do yourself a favor and watch Fun and Fancy Free just for Mickey and the Beanstalk. That shit is actually really funny. Uh, I feel old. Now nah, don't feel old. This is great. Uh, Melody Time. I don't think I've ever seen that one, so that's a have not seen. Ichabod and Mr. Toad freaked me out as a kid. Something about this fucking movie. I don't know if it was the way it was animated, but like, it was just creepy. I think I put in like, meh? It's, I, I really didn't like this movie as a kid. I, what was, the, what was wrong with Mr. Toad? Was this dude on drugs or something? Hang on, what was it? Mr. Toad Disney? The fucking character just was weird. His, I remember he's like always bouncing and shit. His eyes are freaking out and shit. It was weird. I did not like this movie at all as a kid. Something about the way this character was always cracked out or something like that. Fre this, this shit right here freaked me the fuck out. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. I can still remember it to this day as a child. It, I just, I didn't like it. Something about it didn't sit right with me. So I'm going to put that in meh. Very, very bottom of meh. He's into his own thing. What was, what was the actual, what was his thing? Was it just that he liked cars? I don't remember much about that movie. I just, what about the Ichabod part? That was, that was the Headless Horseman bit, wasn't it? Eh, it was fine. It was fine. Eh, I'll put that in meh. Cinderella. The original Hypnotoad. I, hey. Oh, you might be onto something, bro. Is it bad? Is it bad, chat, that when I see this, I think of horrible things? If you know what I'm talking about, you know, chat. You know. Cinderella, dressed in yellow. Something, something. Whatever, that's a meh. It's fine. It's a classic. It's animated great. Uh, top of meh? I think it's better than Snow White. But, not by much. It's fine. But, probably wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> Bibbidi bobbidi. Was that? Oh yeah, that is from this movie. I get the, I get this, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Snow White are all in the same kind of mindset for me. Just weird movies that kind of fell into the wayside. Yeah, I'll put it in top of meh. Top of meh. What else was in there? It was the Glass Slipper, right? That, this movie spawned so many, so many, uh, foot fetish stuff. I'm not even kidding, chat. Ask a lot of them, and they'll be like, it was this movie. I remember this particular movie. But, uh, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna fault that on the movie. I'm still gonna put it in meh. I think it's better than Snow White, but honestly, I don't think I could rewatch this one. It's kind of dull. <laughs> Guess who was busy even more? The little yesterday makes me want time today. It's me, you better put it in. I'm putting him in the right spot, Green, for me. All right. Next up, Alice in Wonderland. I think it's good. I think it's better than Bambi. Would I put it above Fantasia? Mm. 
No, you know what? I I think I like Alice in Wonderland a lot. I think I like this one. I'm trying to remember. There's a lot of fun stuff in this. It's like a fever dream. Like, I remember the I'm Late song from the bunny. The Cheshire Cat was was iconic. I do like the I love the unbirthday um song. I'm thinking about it with the with the Mad Hatter and the and the fucking rabbit guy. The uh, Merry Merry on birthday to you. It's very catchy. And they're fucking weird. I don't know, there's a lot about the, I like this weird ass you know put it in great. It's a weird ass fucking movie. And the Queen was a great villain too. I remember anything happened, she'd get pissed off and be like, off with their head or something like that. Yeah. I think I'll put it in great. Did the queen have a song chat? I want to say she did. And there was a lot of cool visuals with like the card men. Remember the, the card men? They're like, they're like all falling like dominoes and making like a cool bridge and shit like that. I think I'll put it in great. I think I'll put it a little bit, uh, I'll put it behind, above three caballeros. Yeah, Painting the Roses Red, that's what it was, Green. It, w it wasn't technically her song. Yeah, it was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, and then the queen comes out and who's like, who's been painting my roses red? And then, oh God, yeah, I, I like this movie a lot now I'm thinking about it. I haven't seen it in years, but I think I'm gonna put it in great. What, Green said, I can't watch Austin makes you too upset. Poor girl lost alone and everyone is a jackass. Yeah, but she does escape. <laughs> yeah, every that's true. Every single person in that movie is a complete dickhead. Even the caterpillar. I don't know. There's, there's something that's really trippy about it that like made my mind as a child go like, this movie is cool. Yeah, there's some visuals in here. I think I like Alice in Wonderland. We'll put that in great. What's next? Peter Pan. All right, chat, where would you guys put this one? Where the hell would I put Peter Pan? Uh, I don't think it's bad. It's kind of meh for me. I think it's, I think, mmm. The only thing I think I liked about Peter Pan was the alligator chasing uh, Captain Hook. That shit was funny as fuck. Where <laughs> every time the crocodile would show up, uh oh. Dancing Wolves in chat. Indy just joined. Thank you for the four months, Indy. Appreciate that. Enjoy your ad free viewing experience as well as the Wolfie themed emotes. You're just in time. We're, we're ranking the Disney movies. So, uh, no, I think I would, if only for the Captain Hook and the, and the crocodile chasing his ass, which I thought was the funniest shit ever. <sighs> Put it in meh. Probably top of meh. It has a lot of problematic songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the, what makes the red man red song. That song is fucked up. But, as a kid, again, didn't know what was wrong with it. I thought it was fine. My mom was like... Mm. Just like Dumbo, she was like, looking at me like, you like this song, huh? How, not, how, how nice it must be to be an innocent six-year-old child. I won't ruin it for you, but it's not a good song. Uh. Yeah. Try to think, what else is in that? I can fly, you can fly, we can fly. I don't remember. That's not my, uh, meh. Meh songs, meh. If only for the... Lady and the Tramp. Fuck Peter Pan. Let's talk about Lady and the Tramp. Ooh. Lady and the Tramp. We're gonna play some Saturday morning Disney afternoon songs now. In the background. Lady and the Tramp. Where would you guys put this one? I gotta think about this one. It's got one of the most iconic Disney moments in animated history with the spaghetti scene. It's got some pretty good songs. It does have it does have the racist song. Yes, chat, we do know about the racist song. 
Every Disney movie of that era had to have one. We had the Crow song from Dumbo. We had the Red Man song from Peter Pan. We have the Siamese song from Lady and the Tramp. But, chat, hear me out. I'm not saying what I'm about to say makes it any better. But compared to the Crow song from Dumbo and the racist Red Man song from Peter Pan, the Siamese song did slap pretty fucking hard. It had a good ass beat. But it is problematic, yes. Uh, I don't remember much about Lady and the Tramp other than the fact that there are a lot of dogs lusting over her. It's a nice romantic movie. You could probably put this on with your significant other and probably get something out of it. You know what's oddly, you know what's oddly weird about Lady and the Tramp? I remember that one song while she's in jail, while she's in the pound, sung by that one, that one girl dog, you know what I'm talking about? Like, he's a- yeah, he's a tramp, but I love him. That's the song. That song was weirdly... Weirdly... How do I put this? I don't know how to word this. That song was weird. Catchy, but weird. <laughs> was it basically her singing about, like, Holy fuck. What a stud. What a stallion. I love that guy. He's such a slut. Uh, we're pu put it in... I'm gonna put it in great. <laughs> I, I... Uh... Movie's a little weird. Oh! You know what I remember most about, uh, fucking Lady and the Tramp? You know what I remember most about this? Get this fucker off my screen, I hate this guy. I remember this. The rat scene. This fucking rat. And, and if only for one part of this movie... Where the fucking rat gets in the house. This part. Don't don't show the movie. Right here. This scene is the best. Look at this. Look at this bitch. <laughs> this fucking eyes glowing in the dark and shit. Look at that. This is the villain of the movie, chat. This is the villain of the fucking movie. You know what? Like his fucking eyes glowing in the dark and shit. And he went to the Why did he go after the baby, by the way? I'm thinking about it. This bitch went right for the baby. He went right for the crib. But yeah. Lady and the Tramp. I'm gonna put that in great. That scene was pretty intense though. This movie gave me the ideas that dogs are better than living with kids. Yes. Yes. Yeah, honestly, chat. If, you're, if, if you haven't seen Lady and the Tramp, the rat was actually the villain of the movie. He was the one behind everything. The reason the tramp is a tramp, the reason he's all by himself, is because the rat did it. Uh, the reason Lady is the way she is is because of the rat. Every single conflict in that movie was because of that rat. He's the villain. Alright, next movie. What is this? Sleeping Beauty? Meh. I- I don't remember- The- the fucking princess is 90- 99 point- isn't she like- she doesn't do anything in the whole movie. At all. What- what even happened in this movie? It's about the prince, ain't it? So only- it's the only movie where the lead is asleep for 99.9% .9 of it. And I don't remember the prince being a thing at all. Male is it Maleficent from this movie? What's up, Bowser Jr.? Sleeping Beauty. I think the only good thing about this movie is Maleficent. Like that, now that right there, chat, that is a villain. I can still remember Maleficent, like, as a standout. And she turns into the dragon at the end and shit, too. It's pretty cool. But the actual main characters, I don't remember them. The witch curses, she was sent away to live in the forest with the fairies. Prince found her, she, witch found her, she went to sleep, prince killed dragon. I'll put it in the, I'll put it... I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it below, uh, below Snow White. Ah, maybe above Snow White, just for the end, with the fucking dragon. The visuals of the dragon rising up with the green flames and shit was really cool. But, not enough to save it. Mephilus is the Maleficent of the Sonic franchise? Kinda. I think the dragon fight was cool, yeah. Also, one of the few Disney movies that had blood in it. Didn't the, didn't the prince throw the sword into the heart of the dragon? You see, like, blood coming out? She's like, ah! 
<laughs> Did she get stabbed by the sword and shit? Yeah, that, that was kind of a metal ending. I'm gonna put that above Cinderella. Fuck Cinderella. Yeah. I might want... Let me take a look at that visually again. Cinderella... Wait, no, no. Sleeping... Beauty... Dragon... Scene. Let me look at that again. I haven't seen this... I haven't seen this since I was like five. Dude, okay, yeah. I remember the visuals of this shit. Look at this. Yeah, this shit was hot. I could... If I could just watch this part of the movie... This, would be, this right here should be the whole movie. I mean, it really is if you think about it. Look at this! That is classic imagery that would that would be used throughout time. You know, ever since it was done back in the, the, the grim fairy tales. This shit right here is like... Yeah, this shit's hot. Alright. I'm gonna put uh, Sleeping Beauty at the top of man. I think it's better than Peter Pan. Fuck Peter Pan. Alright, next up, 101 Dalmatians. Well, chat, I think we all know where this one's going. That, ooh, it's, I think it's the, I think it's like, right there below Godly. I think it's like at the, that, at the very end of Godly. Not quite there. But it's got 101 dogs in it. It's got one of the strongest Disney villains of all time, Cruella de Vil. Cruella DeVille is still, like, she's a character you watch the movie once. Even if you don't remember jack shit about the dogs, you'll remember Cruella. She'll stick in your brain forever. Yeah, this movie is fucking memorable. Also, I just really like this movie a lot. I watched it a lot as a kid. The opening bit with, like... Like, I could watch this whole movie start to finish. Even the opening credits. 101 Dalmatians. Uh, opening. I can't spell today. Like, even the opening is fucking filled with, like, Nope, don't show that! Don't show that, Disney! Please, Disney! Hey, Disney, don't don't come after me, alright? I'm sorry I showed that three seconds, alright? Yeah, the opening bit with the spots... I even, I even remember this! Very nice to watch. Yeah, 101 Dalmatians is a classic. I will hear nothing of it. Uh, Cy Cyberduck... Spiderduck said this movie is the only reason I love Dalmatians. Hey, Dalmatians don't love you. They don't like me either. This movie also, I think I told this before on stream, but this movie also caused a lot of problems back in the day. So many kids wanted Dalmatians after watching this movie, but a lot of people don't realize Dalmatians are not good with are not good with children. So uh, yeah, a lot of return Dalmatians back in the day. They are not very good around children. So here's a heads up: if y'all are ever planning on getting a dog, do your research. Do not get a Dalmatian if you have children. Uh I'm trying to remember. It has Cruella de Vil the song, which was good. Dalmatian Plantation is kind of weak. It does- you know what? This movie has like the longest stealth section ever. Ever. It basically becomes Metal Gear Solid at the end. When they're trying to fucking escape from Cruella, remember? There's a part where they gotta cover themselves in soot. They're running through snow. They hitch around in the back of a moving truck. Shit gets really crazy at the end. I'm gonna put this... You know what? The bark- yeah, the barking chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With- with Tebs and- and like, the horse. Wait, wasn't the- wasn't that also used in Aristocats? That same thing? No, maybe not. I'm thinking of something else. That was used in another movie, I think. There was a part- oh well. Put, ah, let's put it in Godly for now. I really do like this movie a lot. Also, also, the, uh, this movie also had that one bit where at the beginning, do you guys remember the, the scene, one more thing I want to gush about this movie. Y'all remember the scene in, in the movie after the puppies get born and, uh, uh Lucky dies? Y'all remember that? Like, what's the dude's, what's the main character's, uh, main human's name? Uh, it's, 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 this, this scene is so good, too, because, like, hang on, where is it? Uh, 101 Dalmatian. Is it Lucky... Dies? Roger, yeah. Roger, like, revives him. Well, oh, wow, they don't have that scene? Well, either way, it's, like, it's, it's, it's a very strong scene because, like, it's completely... I don't know if y'all remember, it's completely silent. All you hear is the sound of, like, the clock ticking, 
and it's just like it's nice it's it's really tense and roger's like trying to that's why he's called lucky because he died but like they were they like you revived him but yeah it was it was like oh that's cool yeah, yeah, right, right. It's a really strong scene. And then after that, when they're like, oh, he's alive, yay! Here comes Cruella busting through the door, and she's like, 15 puppies! Ah, oh, God, yeah, you know what? Godly. 101 Dalmatians, Godly. I love this movie. I can watch it anytime. It also led to some of my favorite animated uh, spin-off series. The animated series from the, from the 90s, and of course, 101 Dalmatian Street, which no one has ever seen, but that's fine. Next movie! Sword in the Stone. Ooh, yeah. This this movie has people feeling certain ways. God damn. I'm going to put this one in amazing. I like this. I, I don't care what people say. I think this is one of this is one of the better movies. Definitely one of the better movies. It has Yes, everybody just said the same thing I was about to say. Wizard's Duel. Wizard's Duel makes the movie with Merlin and uh what's her name? What's her name? Uh, what's she has a whole mad mad Mer, mad madam mim yeah 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 the wizards duel is, is by far what makes that movie but also uh god damn yeah i'm thinking about it i love the part where merlin takes him through like all the different places and he's like showing them he's like in the fish world showing him like all the fish and stuff like that we're gonna expand your mind boy you could be much better than uh than a ward right and it's like He's like showing him all the shit, and it has that one. I remember this 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 part of the movie used to used to make me sad as a kid. Y'all remember that part with the squirrels? Y'all, if y'all seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. The the part with the squirrels. <laughs> that part that part used to make me sad as a kid, cause like the, the that that girl squirrel was so was so fucking sad <laughs> when when he turns into a boy at the end. She's like, oh fuck, you're a human. Oh this this can't work. Shit. She's all heartbroken and shit. That made me sad as a kid. I remember that particular. Sword in the Stone. You go above Dumbo. You deserve to be above Dumbo, though. They put it amazing. I, I like this movie a lot. And also, Merlin as a character is just great. He's very entertaining. Remember the other squirrel? Yeah, yeah. The other squirrel who was like, who was, like thirsty for Merlin. I remember he's like, ah, get off me, woman. I <laughs> just like... It's like his voice was so fucking funny. Who, what was the name of the owl, chat? The owl was great, too. Artemis? Ar Artemis? Was it Artemis? What was the name of the owl? I forget his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Archimedes. That's what it was. Yeah, Archimedes. Yeah, I love this movie. Also, ooh, you know what I loved about that movie, too? Hang on. Sword in the Stone. This part no one ever talks about. What was it? Where he's packing and he has the song. Uh, where he's packing his shit. Higgitus Figgitus. I used to love this shit as a kid. Higgitus Figgitus something something. And he's like, all the shit's like getting up and like dancing and shit like that. I used to love this shit. Yeah, this movie is strong. And then it's just like, Higgitus Figgitus something 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 something. Yeah, I love this movie. Fuck it. Sword and Stone's amazing. Let's see. Next up, Jungle, Jungle Book. Jungle Book. Uh... Hmm. I think I put this one in good. Okay, chat. <laughs> How does it fit all that to one suitcase? I like it. I wish we all had Merlin powers so when we pack to go, it could be easy. Yungo book? I like the songs in it. I like the story. Characters are memorable. But it's not my favorite. Jungle Book Kids. Oh, you talking about that that Disney Saturday Morning one? Was that what it was called? Jungle Book Kids. Yeah, I, I remember that show. I don't remember watching it, but I remember the show you're talking about. Is that on Disney Plus? I should watch that. It was like Jungle Cubs. Yeah, Jungle Cubs. What it's called? King Louie. Yeah, I do remember. I watched the. I think you know what the weird part is, Chat. Oddly enough, Jungle Book is one of the only animated ones that got a good remake recently. You know all those shitty live-action remakes that Disney's been doing? That all suck ass? Jungle Book's the only one that was decent. So... 
I don't know if that says something about either the quality of what they're putting out or if Jungle Book was just that good. But... What the fuck? Hey, you stop that. Don't play that. Alright, back to... They made Ka female and it's... Yeah! But then again, I think in the original Jungle Book book, I thought Bagheera was also a female. But they changed her to male in the in the movie. I could be wrong about that. I, I The book has been so long since I read that. Ka, yeah, Ka was creepy. Bagheera's a male? Was I wrong? Okay. No, Ka, Ka is definitely great. Like, I think Ka... Okay, but... Okay, but... I'm gonna say, okay, but... Right? There's a problem. And I, I hate, I hate the fact that this got ruined for me as, as an adult. Or a teenager. But, like... This was one of my favorite, like, funny scenes with him trying to, like, seduce the cub. But this shit right here has been ruined. This has been ruined. This right here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But if you do know what I'm talking about, I, I hate that I can't watch this now and think about what's happening in the background. But this fucking shit was funny as hell. When Ka was like, when he gets thrown out the fucking tree, like... <laughs> He's like smacking his head and everything on the way down. Yeah. Like, Ka gets fucked up. <laughs> like, just tosses his ass out the trees, like smacking his head on every branch on the way down. I love that. Yeah, you know what, Ka? You, you, you deserve that. So. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not even so much the Vor aspect. I'm talking about the hypnotism stuff. I'm gonna put Jungle Book. Uh, you go at the top of great. I do like Bare Necessities. I do like you. I, I like what I want to be like you. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that in great. What is this? Aristocats. I feel strongly about this one. I feel, I feel strongly about this one. I liked it a lot growing up. But I'll be damned if I don't remember. No, I do remember. Oh, I remember. It's it's the, the fucking butler. Try to get rid of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's this guy. Thomas O'Malley. O'Malley the alley cat. Uh... Duchess and kittens are in trouble, chat. Where do we put them? Duchess and kittens are in trouble. This movie was the origin of it. It was the butler. It, it, it feels like it's definitely that era, right? Ah. Uh... God damn, I don't know. Chat, help me out. What are some standout parts of this movie? Help me remember. Jog my memory. What are some moments of Aristocats that stand out to you? I do- okay, Everybody Wants to Be a Cat is a fucking banger of a jazz song. We can all agree on that. They brought- they literally brought the- they brought the house down for that. The cat's fighting the butler. Uh... Mmm... I'm struggling to remember other parts of the movie. I remember there's this one scene with the two dogs in it. Where he's like... Where he's like, uh, uh... You know what that sounded like? It sounded like a little old cricket bug. And he's like, I'm the leader. I'll tell you what it was. It's a little old cricket bug. I forgot what that name... Yeah, the I'm the leader guy. The geese! I remember the geese. The, 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 the fucking... The guy who got super drunk because they marinated his ass in alcohol. What was it? Uncle, uncle something like that? Yeah, yeah. They, they weren't even like hiding about it that he got drunk either. Uncle Waldo, yeah. Uncle Waldo was the best. <laughs> Don't shush your Uncle Waldo. He's like drunk as fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. But still, 
you notice what we're talking about. We're talking more about the actual side characters than the actual main characters, and that's an issue. I don't remember much about the main characters. I remember she had three kittens. I kind of remember the Thomas O'Malley, but the main star characters aren't memorable. What did they do in the movie? They were all kind of damsels in distress. I'm gonna put it at the top of great. Nah, below. I'll put it below Jungle Book. Honestly. Scales and Apeggios. Oh, I remember that song. That song was good, but that was like the first five minutes of the movie. Eh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'll put it in great. Robin Hood. Well, Chad, this one's easy. You come with me, good sir. You come all the way up here. I put that in godly. Wait. It's either top of amazing or bottom of godly. I gotta think about this one, chat. Cause even from the opening credits with the fucking, that whistle song, that was, is it called the hamster dance? What's the official name of that song? That one. Even the opening is just so fucking good. You've never watched Robin Hood? Really? Dude, watch this movie. It's great. Reused animation. Oh, yeah, this is during the Disney Dark Era. What do they call it? The uh, Xerox Era, where they used a lot of the same animations. This year, they had a lot of animations with Aristocats, and there's another one. Aristocats, Snow White, and Robin Hood had the same dance animation. You've seen it. A bit. There's been 3,000 YouTube videos talking about it. No point talking about it here, but you know. Uh, people, people think this when they watch Zootopia. Didn't, didn't, the, didn't the creators of Zootopia say that Nick Wilde could be a descendant of Robin Hood? Like, thousands of years, or hundreds of years in the future? I mean, it could make sense. Interconnected universes, who says they can't be connected? But yeah. Ah, uh, Robin Hood, man, I'm gonna put that... You go in that godly tier and you like it, good sir. I like it a lot. The main character was charming. Uh, uh, Little John was great. Maid Marian was great. Little, uh, what's the, what's the name of the king? Uh, fuck, what's his name? Prince, was it Prince, Prince John? What the fuck was his name? The spoiled brat. Prince John, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you know what, you know what? You know what was great about that movie? Robin Hood. Uh, what was, what was it called? Prince... John, uh, was it Gypsy? The Gypsy scene? Yeah, this part. I love this scene. The fortune telling Gypsy scenes. Is Gypsy, chat, before I continue, is, is, is Gypsy a word we can say anymore? I don't want to get canceled. I feel like that's a, ba that's a bad term now. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay, let's not say Gypsy. Let's just say, uh, fortune tellers. I love this right here. This right here, look at this, look at this. I love this shit. <laughs> I love- They start kissing the fucking- Okay, be careful, Wolf. They kiss the fucking jewels off the ring and like steal it. And then this guy right here is like, What the fuck? Dude, do you see what they're doing? And he's like- <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. Ah, this movie is great. This movie is great. Also, you gotta you gotta love uh, uh, any movie where your main characters like dress up in in like in, in drag to get to like to like fool people. So I'm gonna put Robin here. Ro Robin Hood. Robin Hood goes and got. I'm. Is it bad that I'm scared that even playing "Can You Feel the Love Tonight" in like mid eye form with Genesis music is gonna put me in trouble? We're fine. Uh, yeah, Bugs Bunny, the the original. The original, I will I will dress however it takes to trick your ass. Uh I'm trying to remember what else is in there. Ooh, what was the, the the contest where they shoot the where they shoot the arrows, the accuracy contest? Where they're trying to win the hand of Maid Marin? Maid Mar Maid Marin? Maid Marion? That was fun. The oh ooh ooh and the end part where they have to escape the castle? Where everybody's like running and shit? That, that was hype as hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
What was the name of the fucking fat guy? The fat coyote dude? Uh, uh, the, the guy with the- who would, like, go around stealing people's shit? What was his name? Uh, was it Sheriff? Was it the Sheriff? Sheriff of Nottingham. This dude, this scumbag. I- this guy is great. As a fucking villain, as a side villain. All the characters are memorable, even this dude. The fucking, uh, uh, barista or whatever his name is, I don't know. The fucking sheriff, not him, the, 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 the fucking priest guy. I like this guy's voice too. I, I forget the voice actor for him, but yeah, yeah. Great, great movie. I love that he's like, even, even when he's like, like he's fucking such a scumbag piece of shit. Look at him. Oh, my fucking foot. <laughs> he starts beating his fucking foot to get the rest of the coins out. Like, God damn, that dude is ruthless. All right. We're gonna- we're gonna put this in, uh, God tier. Alright, moving on. Winnie the Pooh? The something of Winnie the Pooh. I don't think I've ever seen this one, chat. It- it- Is this the one with the wuzzles or the woozle tufts or whatever in it? I don't think I've seen this one before. So I'm gonna put that in have not seen. I'm sure the Winnie the Pooh movies are great, but, uh, I have- I have not personally seen them. I don't think they released these on VHS. That's probably why I never saw them. The reason I saw a lot of these as a kid is because my mom would get all of these on VHS at our local video store where you can get VCRs and everything. It was on base. The heff lumps that's what they were called. Where did those things come from? Was that the show or the movie? I forget. Let me take a sip of water real quick. Your boy getting thirsty. They came from that movie? Okay. Then I've never seen it. I know what the heffalumps are, but I've never actually seen the movie they come from. The Rescuers, chat. Whoo! Wait, wait, wait. The re the original Rescuers. Not Down Under, chat. Not Down Under. This is the original. I think I'll put this one in great. I think I'll put it below Jungle Book. Yeah, there's two, there's two Rescuer movies. Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. I think the original is fine, but I do not remember much of it, other than the 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 fucking swamp people, <laughs> the swamp people, and trying to escape. Like, I I don't actually remember how the rescuers rescue that girl. Uh. Well, if you remember the scene with the gun, I don't remember. That's the problem. I don't remember Rescuers, the original Rescuers. I've seen it a couple of times as a kid, but I don't, nothing about it like stood out in my brain. But if it was on, I would watch it. I, the only thing I remember really is that, that evil chick surfing on gators in the swamp. That's, that's the only memorable imagery in my head. She had a kid in the well. I do remember that. There's apparently an image- yeah, there is. If you freeze frame while they're on top of the albatross, in the windows, if you freeze frame it, if you pause it, you can see a naked lady, yeah. In those windows. I don't know why Disney did that, some animator got cheeky, but yeah. Hold on. Let me real quick. Where'd I put my shit? I've lost my shit, chat. There it is. <laughs> Crazy woman surfing on gators is the best context. That's all you need, really. Okay, next up, Fox and the Hound chat. Yeah, we're just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put Rescuers in A. Next up, Fox and the Hound. God damn, do I love this movie. Do I love this movie. But I don't think it's godly though. I think it's right up there with Fox and the Hound in amazing S tier. I don't think it's, I don't think it's godly though. I know, Chad, I know, I know, hear me out, hear me out, L listen, hang on, listen, let me finish. As much as I love Fox and the Hound, it does unfortunately have one major flaw. It has one major flaw. Let me just, real quick, Fox and the Hound, what was the flaw? Uh. Hold up, I'm trying to remember. Do y'all- okay, before we wait, also... This scene, did you guys know? Did y'all know? 
You remember this scene. If y'all seen if y'all talk about putting in Gati, you remember this scene, right? This scene? This part with the train? We gotta do still shots. This part. He was supposed to die, by the way. I don't know if y'all knew that, but Chief was supposed to die. <laughs> I think, I think the anime, I, there's a behind the scenes thing where they said like the reason they didn't do that is because they thought it was too dark. But the way the rest of the film is shot, it's actually like, it's, it's, it's done like he actually did die. But that's a little Easter egg. If y'all didn't know, he was supposed to die here. Yeah, he got yeah he got hit by a train and broke his leg. That that wait that's not the problem. That's I was just saying that was an Easter egg. That's not why I that's not why it's not a bad movie. I'm just saying that's an Easter egg for those that didn't know. Uh, I'm trying to think. Hang on, but I, now I lost my train of thought. What was the reason I think it's it's got a flaw? Oh my god, I forgot it. I lost the train of thought. Give me a second. It's right there on the tip of my tongue. Fuck. It's gone. You know what? You know what? Just in case, let, let me let me be right let me be right back. I gotta show y'all something. Uh, y'all think, y'all think, y'all think you know, but you don't. Yeah, let me let me just let me just real quick. Let me just get. Yeah, I got this right here. All right, I want y'all. I want y'all to see something. All right, I'm back. Take a look at this. I want y'all to see something that I have from my childhood. It's one of the few things I have from my childhood. Y'all, it's probably not showing up. This right here, one of the original copper plushes from back. In, this is like from my youth, like when I was five years old. This guy has seen better days. He's fucked up beyond belief. But, yeah, the eyes are, yeah, every, I'm telling you, this dude is, he's all fucked up. Like, y'all can't see the, the amount of battle damage this guy has had from all the years, but this movie was one of my favorites as a kid, absolutely. But, yeah, it's one of the few toys I have from my childhood. That is copper, this is copper. This is one of those, because back in the day they had a, they had a little deal where if you send, I think it was if you buy the VHS tape, if you send in something, it was those 90s things where, you know, buy the tape, send something in, and get a coupon to Pizza Hut, like Ninja Turtles movie. But, uh, they had one where you could send it in, you could either get Copper or you could get Todd. I, I, of course, being the dog lover I was as a kid, they were like, here. My mom was like, we'll send it off and we'll get you the, the Copper plush. But, yeah. Pupilus is haunted. Yeah, don't worry about it. I wonder, are there people who can, like, remaster, not remaster, but, like, are there people who can fix up plushes? Like, fix them up? Y'all can't see, but, like, his stitching is all fucked up. Like, he's hanging on by a wing and a prayer. Like, he's got, like, all, he's just fucked up beyond belief. Like, I gotta get somebody to refurbish him. He is, like, if he goes to the washing machine, he is done. That's how bad it is. But, uh... You could probably find the Todd plushes on, uh... Todd or, or Copper plushes on eBay. They're probably fucked up like mine, but you can still get them, probably. Uh, they were limited time only things. Put it in Godly? I'm gonna put it in Godly. Not because you guys told me, but because I actually remember how much I loved this movie as a kid. It's got a great message. It's great. It's fantastic. Love the main characters. And yes, Big Mama was excellent. Excellent side character. Also, this fucking movie, unlike Bambi, did the thing of actually showing you the mom getting killed. There's another opening. With the music and everything, too, it was fucking creepy as fuck. Like, it starts off with, like, a bang. It's just like, like, watch how she comes up. And it's like she's being chased and shit. Yeah, this, this, this got me as a kid. This was like, I understood what happened here. Because they, like, this is the opening credits. The opening credits is the mom running for her fucking life. And then Big Mama comes out and she's like, oh, what the fuck's going on right here? And you hear the dogs chasing her. And of course, 
What's a good mom do? She hides she hides her 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 little her little boy. And this is the last time you see her. Cause she takes the fuck off and all you hear is And you see the reaction shot, and that's all as a kid I was like, oh my god, I got fucked up. So yeah, this one for some reason I understood the mom dying, but I could I didn't get it in Bambi, so yeah, you know what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Next up. Oh my god, the quails. Was that from this movie? Wait, wait, no, no, no. I think I think that was Bambi. Was that Bambi? I, I do remember the quails you're talking about. Was that the one where they said, we have to fly? And they're like, no, 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 don't fly, you idiot. Don't fly, you'll die. And she's like, we, we gotta get out of here. She like panics and like freaks up and like flies up and you just see her body get shot the fuck up. Was that Bambi? I thought that was... That was Bambi? It was just about to show when you cut off. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> you remember you brought that one up. That one fucked me up. I was like, damn, she got shot. Great mouse detective. Whoo. Goddamn, do I love this movie. Do I love... You know what? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's God tier. I think I'm putting God tier. I think I think this is one of my favorite movies I can watch start to finish every time. Every time. It has the scariest opening to any of these movies. That's just fucking What's with Disney and scaring me, right? Y'all remember the opening where, where the dad gets kidnapped? It's violent. <laughs> it is violent. Uh let's see. Now we don't want to watch that. Let's not rewatch that. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, Radig Radigan is an excellent villain. The main, the main character, uh, uh, Basil of Baker Street is, is fucking great. It also has, it also has, we, we talked about it on every other movie, so we gotta talk about it here, right? We gotta talk about it here. Where is it? There's so much in this fucking movie. Uh, what was it? It has, uh, it also mentions, it doesn't also mention that Radigan drowned orphans? Yeah. This, this chat. We talked about how Cinderella sparked, uh, sparked the foot fetish. We talked about how Jungle Book was the born hypnotism. Let's talk about what Great Mouse Detective did. It starts off so innocent. You're like, oh, it's a nice little show, right? Oh, great. Yay! And then all of a sudden... What the fuck? With this? Hang on, hang on. Boom! No, it gets, it gets like, what the fuck, right? I could, every single child was like... What the, what, what, what? What's going on? And we're like, either you were confused, or you were like... Hold up. Hold up! <laughs> what is happening? This is what <laughs> this is one of those scenes as a kid. I was like, I'm confused right now at what I'm looking. I feel like I shouldn't be watching this, but yeah, yeah. Though this show, she's and she's singing, "Let me be good to you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, and <laughs> this shit was amazing. But yeah, uh, it's not it's not strippers. It's it's uh, what do you call this? It's a burlesque show. Show dancers, yeah. They were not, they were not. And, and you know what the best part is? Like, look at this shit. This, this, look at him. He's like, look at this show. He's like, oh shit, look at that. Damn. Oh fuck. And he gets knocked up. <laughs> he fucking knocks himself out. Yeah. But yeah, great mouse detective. It's great. I love the final battle between Basil versus uh, Radigan on the fucking, what's it called? Big Ben? That fight's great. Like Radigan going feral. And it, you think for a second, Basil's getting fucked up. Like, it was violent. Uh, yeah, I love this movie. S tier, a double S, godly, for me. <laughs> Bat was, you see how the Bat was looking at him? He's like, damn. Look at that. <laughs> that was a lot of us as kids. Uh-oh, chat. Here it is, the Black Cauldron. Oh, boy. I've only seen this movie once. I've only seen it once, and I don't remember much about it. 
for those that don't know, this is this is one of Disney's. I believe it was one of the worst, worst, <laughs> worst received and worst like grossing Disney movies ever. And I'm pretty sure this was also one of the things that helped them put their foot in the grave. Like this absolutely tanked the like tanked their studio. It wasn't until the Disney Renaissance that they came back. But like, I don't think the movie was bad. Like, I don't think it was actually bad, but like, it did not do the studio any favors. I don't remember it. I've seen it once as a kid, but I don't remember anything about it, Chad. Did, Chad, do you, anybody remember anything about this? Uh, I thought the reason Black Cauldron did poorly is because it released in the theater at the same time as another. Let's check. Let's, let's check that. Uh, what other movie came out around the same time? Black Cauldron, Disney, uh, 1985. What other, what other movie came out in 1985 in theaters? Uh, animated movies of 1985. Let's see. Black Cauldron... Care Bears. I'm looking through... Uh-oh. I remember there was a Black Cauldron in the movie. <laughs> Well done, Lazy Boy. You remember more than I do. Thank you for the 50. Yeah, there was a Black Cauldron in that movie. Uh, the Care Bears movie came out that year. He-Man. He-Man and She-Ra Christmas. I want to say Land Before Time came out around that time, didn't it? No? You might be right, Green. I, I'm just not seeing what the movie was. It's the, the list is too long. Theater. What movie? Does anybody know what movie it came out against? By chance, I feel that that may have been a big con reason why that movie bombed. But yeah, either way, whatever reason, the movie did not do good. So I'm gonna put Black Cauldron in bad. I don't remember anything about it. So. Oliver and Company. I like this movie more than I should, I feel. Honestly, I know at this movie, I think a lot of people don't like it. But I actually really like this one. The songs in this movie are some of the most memorable to me. And I know Disney, for some reason, hates this movie. I don't know why. Like, they, know, they don't reference it. They don't, they don't make merchandise for it. I don't even think it's got a soundtrack re-release. Like, you don't see this at Disney World? I mean, has anybody been to, been to Disney World? Was... Has anybody been to Disney World recently? Is there any Oliver and Company shit there? It's like Sonic 06. It's kind of... No, Black Cauldron is the, is the Sonic 06 of, of Disney movies. But... I feel this one is another one where they're just like... What's Oliver and Company? We don't even know what that movie is. I don't even think it's on Disney+. Plus. But I like this movie a lot. The songs are memorable. Uh, hang on. Y'all know y'all know what we gotta look at, right? Ch quick chat. What was your what was the song that you like most in this movie? Mine is this one. Y'all already know. This 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 movie also probably made a lot of people question themselves. Why'd they do that? Why'd they do that, chat? Why'd they do that? But no. This movie was great, the song uh, with the fucking poodle singing about how perfect she is. Uh, look at that, look at that fucking pose, Jesus Christ. Uh, Why Should I Worry was great. This, yeah, is the Billy Joel? Yeah, okay. This, this is great. Alright, that's enough. Three seconds is all it needs. I love that this dude was, throughout this whole song, he is styling on this cat. Styling on him. And he can't be touched. Oh, while he's singing a song. That's how you, that's that right there is getting bodied to the extreme. Not being taken seriously and while the dude is singing a song. Also, there's a lot of cameos in this. I believe the 101 Dalmatian characters show up in here. Yeah. This made you feel like you lived in New York during the 90s. I like this movie a lot. So I'm going to put Oliver and Company... At the very tippity top of amazing. Oh, and Sykes. Sykes, that fucking moneylender dude was the main villain. That dude was 
That dude was vicious. Roscoe and DeSoto, his, his guard dogs? Damn, I might have to reconsider this. I might have to reconsider. I like... Is there anything I don't like about Oliver and Company? I guess that's the question at this point. I, uh, you know what? Even the part I don't really care for, I think is really good with the, with the cat and the, and the girl bonding. Like... Where she's singing a song about how they're, how the two of them are friends and I'm like, ah, this part's boring, but like, I get why it's in there. It's, it's a bonding moment. But even then, it's still at least something to look at. I'll put it in Godly. I think I like it a lot. What's a Little Mermaid. Oh, fuck you. I think that's amazing. Nope. Because of Ursula, I think I'm putting it in Godly. Then I've got to talk. Shut up, chat. We're not talking about it. It goes in Godly. Ursula. Ursula. That's all I got to say. Ursula. Now, here we go, chat. The Rescuers Down Under. This is the Rescuer movie everybody remembers. Sadly, it's not godly, but goddamn are there some good animated shots in this one. I'm gonna put it at the top of Amazing, right next to Sword in the Stone. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for it. Cause honestly, I don't remember the rest of the movie. I remember a lot of good sh animated ass shots and like, what the fuck? The Bald Ego though? Yeah. <laughs> Joanna, you've been eating my eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joanna the lizard and her egg obsession. Hmm. Nah, I'm still not gonna put it in God tier. If I, if we were talking strictly animation, it would go in God tier. But like it, the movie itself, not good enough to be put with the with the with the God tiers up here. Not good enough. So I put that right there. What's the Beauty and the Beast? Well, chat, this is- now we're in the Disney Renaissance right here, so, uh... I think Beauty and the Beast, of the Renaissance ones, I think I like it more than The Little Mermaid. Because, goddamn, does it have so much shit in there? It's got Gaston, it's got the fucking catchiest musicals ever. Even the song at the end with, Gas with Gaston trying to kill the beast. You remember the song, Kill the Beast? That song is catchy as fuck. Like, da da da, da da da, da 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 da. You can literally convert, you can literally, I think Beauty and the Beast is a musical. That's what it is. That's why it works so well. You can literally convert the whole animated thing into a musical because it is a musical. Like, you could live action Broadway that shit and it would work so well. I love Beauty and the Beast. Like, the visuals. The mob song, even 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 though the the love aspect might be considered problematic now because the beast is a borderline abusive, but he learns, I guess. He's an asshole, but he learns. So let me take a sip to that. <sighs> I love how they never say it's movie in the in the movie. It's just beast. That is true. Yeah. Except for that one last shot with the beast turning around like this. <gasps> like, he looks ugly as fuck and you're like, oh my god, go back to beast mode, please. Like, horrible, horrible shot of him turning around. Like, <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you're laughing, you know the shot I'm talking about. God tier for Beauty and the Beast. I love this movie a lot. No more talk of it. Aladdin, God tier. Uh, I'll put it. Shit. The songs in Aladdin, though. Prince Ali, Fabulous He, Ali Ababwa. Hang on, fuck this. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? A whole new world. Yeah, this is, uh, this is easy. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta do it. The opening song with the, with, with, uh, Aladdin running from, uh, the, the, the guards. Where he's like, uh, one jump ahead of the breast line. Breast line? Eat. 
Either way, one step is good. Arabia Nights. Yep, it was one one jump ahead of the bread line. Hey, hey, listen. We just we just looked at Great Mouse Detective. All right, everybody, shut up. <laughs> Get your brains out the gutter, chat. All right, uh, Aladdin. God tier. I, I, I can't. I can't. All the songs in there are good. And, and you can't, you can't forget about the Magic Carpet Ride with A Whole New World playing. It's got like 13 different renditions that are all good. Go, Lion King! Everybody shut up. Lion King goes at the very top. It is the best. The best. Uh, actually, let me, let me. We're not, we're gonna put God, God tier is in no particular order, alright chat? But Lion King deserves its top spot. Hey, don't rush this chat. Don't rush this. We got plenty of time. Like... I want to gush about Lion King. I love this movie. This movie means more to me than any other movie on here because it was basically my childhood. Go faster? We only got a couple more movies left. And most of these I haven't even seen, so we're going to be putting a lot of these in Have Not Seen. We're not playing Sonic CD after this. We're playing uh, out, Stay Out of the House after this. They're like, I'm 50% of these are Have Not Seen, so don't worry, chat. We got time. Let me gush about Lion King and how great it is. I mean, I guess I don't even need to say anything. Y'all already know. It's the best- I think it's- this is the best Disney movie of all time. Period. No, Green, we gotta get the good ending. We gotta get the good ending, that's why. Pocahontas? Ah, here it is, chat. Alright, you, you guys want me to go faster? Pocahontas trash. Alright, next. Hunchback of Notre Dame, I'm gonna be honest. Haven't seen it. Haven't really seen it. So that goes into have not seen. I've seen bits and pieces, but I have not actually seen the actual movie. I it it's everybody seems to talk about it like it's good, so but have not seen it personally. The oh okay, real talk chat. I don't like Pocahontas. That movie bored the shit out of me as a kid. I thought it was dull. I the visuals are great. There's like one good song in there with the colors of the wind. But other than that, I think this is one of the trashiest, boringest movie, boringest, that Disney has ever made. I, I cannot watch it. I will fall asleep. Hercules, though? If only, if, if, if we were just talking music, it would be up there in God tier. Because goddamn, it is like, those, every song is a banger. But... I the, the Hades was good. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put this in amazing. Top of amazing, right there between Sword of the Stone and Rescuers Down Under. But the music, I think I like the music more than the movie. For sure, like the uh, what was it called? Zero to Hero. Uh, excuse me. The opening song with the muses singing about like how the how the world got shaped by the gods and everything. And then along came Zeus. You know the meme. Like, the music itself is more memorable than the movie to me. Hades was great, though. Uh... What's up, Aaron? Welcome. The movie inspired me to love mythology? Yeah. I love that movie. The, mu the, muses, the, the muses made the movie for me. Let's see. Mulan. Uh... Can I be real with you guys about Mulan? I'm gonna put it in good. To put the Mulan in good. I I think it's a great movie. But I've only seen one I've only seen it once. I I've I've watched I've watched the Let's Get Down to Business multiple times, but like I make a man out of you, yeah. I should probably rewatch you know what chat, I'm not saying it's bad, but I, I probably should rewatch that at some point. I, I don't remember much of the movie other than the songs. So, that goes in good for now. Tarzan! Hmm. If you guys want me to go faster, I'm gonna put it in good. Great. I'll put it in gr great. We're not gonna elaborate, just great. Skip, next. Fantasia 2000.
Why? I can't elaborate. We gotta go faster. Fantasia 2000. Have not. No, I've seen it. I don't think it's. As... I don't think it's better than Fantasia, the original. I'll put it in meh. Top of meh. What did Fantasia 2000 have? Chat, quick. What's a, what's a song that was in there? Because I don't remember shit about Fantasia 2000. It probably had good visuals, but fuck, I don't remember. Alright, we'll bump it down to the very bottom. Snow White's probably better than it. If I can remember Snow White more than Fantasia, then Fantasia goes there. Uh... Dinosaur. I think I've seen Dinosaur? Trash. I don't... I don't remember anything about this. I've, I've seen it, but I don't remember jack shit about it. Other than I think it was, I thought it was ugly at the time. Rhapsody in Blues, the jazz one. Pines of Rome's, none of these are ringing a bell, Green. So I'm gonna keep Fantasia 2000 where it's at. <laughs> none of these ring a bell. Uh, what was... Maybe I should put Dinosaur and Have Not Seen, because I don't remember anything about it. Emperor's New Groove, chat. God damn, do I love this fucking movie. Amazing. I think I- I don't- I think this is like- I-, I it's- it's probably one- it's probably the most perfect comedy. It's so well written. It is so well written, cause like, it's like one joke after the other. And the characters are great, they're all funny. But like, it's just missing that one thing that needs that Disney charm for me. Does it have any songs in it, chat? Does it have any songs? If it doesn't have any songs, we're gonna put it in S tier. I need- I need- I need at least one good song in there. What's the song? What, what was the song? Does it have a name? There are no songs. I'm gonna put it in S tier then. Like, it has to- it has to have at least one good song in there. All, all the S tiers have at least one good song, goddammit. But yes, it is it is definitely up there. You know what my favorite There's there's three moments that stand out to me. The part where they're going over the waterfall and they're like, what was it? Were we heading what's what's that? We're about to go over a waterfall? Yep. Pony rocks at the bottom? Mm-hmm. Bring it on. That shit I don't know, that shit's great. Ooh. Go to the part of Yzma and the dis dis dinner and the cucumbers? Okay, let, let me check. They're saying there's a song in there. Emperor's New Groove. Yzma Dinner? Let's put Yzma Dinner. I don't think there was a- I don't think there was a song in this. Nope, I don't think there's a song. Perfect world? Yeah, if, it, if we have this hard time to remember it, we're gonna put that in, in S tier. That's fine. Atlantis! Oh boy, chat. Y'all discussed amongst yourselves? Your boys are drinking too much water? Discuss amongst yourself how much you love or hate Atlantis? I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. Before we even get into this one. Alright. VRB. Don't go anywhere. Alright, you're back. Your boy's back. Okay, let's get into this. Alright, y'all. Atlantis. Okay, real quick. I forgot to say this because I thought about it while I was, uh, taking care of business. The reason I like Lion King so much, just real quick. 
I like any movie with a really, really, really good father figure. Because I'm going to get personal with y'all for a second. I don't have a good relationship at all with my father figure. It, needless, it's, it's basically non-existent. So anytime I see a movie with a really good father figure, it kind of boosted up. Because I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, that's what it's like, right? So besides the movie being really, really good, I love Mufasa as a character. And I was like, damn, ain't that cool. But yeah, all right, sorry, there. All right, that's all I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna say on that matter. Atlantis, let's, oh, okay. God damn. Chat, can I be real with y'all? I've seen this movie like five times. And each time I, I remember liking the characters and I think the animation's good, but I don't, for the life of me, think I like it? I don't think I like it. I don't think I like the story of this one. Honestly. Yeah, def no, I, I will definitely say the visuals are top notch. It's like that era of 2000 of like, Jesus Christ, the budget on this animation must have been you know, up there. But I don't know. I, I don't think I like this movie. It's weird where I'm like, I like, I like everything else about the movie, but the movie. <laughs> I don't know, chat. This is just, this is one of those hot takes I have. I just don't think I like the movie. I acknowledge it as good. I'll put it in good. All right, let's go to the next one. Lilo and Stitch. Now here's a movie that's actually good. I'm going to put this one... Fuck, this is hard. Ah, fuck, this is hard. It's either an amazing or god tier. It's either S or... It's either double S or S. Fuck. Because... Ah, shit. This is just such a good film about family. Family, family. The characters are awesome. Stitch is great. The only thing I think it's missing is a song. Because I think the rest... Of, wait, does it have a song in there? I think it does. I'm going to put it at the very, very bottom of Godly. It has... Yeah, I was going to say it, it has Elvis music, but I don't think it has its own, like, track to its name, you know? But I'll make it... I'll make an exception for you, Lilo and Stitch. I like you a lot. You get to hang out with the greats up here, okay? But don't tell anybody. I'm, I'm like the bouncer. I'm like letting them in. I'm like, all right, you can't, you can't get in there with those shoes, but you know what? I like you, so you get to go in there. Treasure plant. Yes, it does. In my opinion, it has to have a good song. It has to. We're putting... What is that? What's this one? What what is that? What movie is that? That's the great thing, Green. There's no such thing as a bad opinion. Just my own. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets. Yeah, exactly. I love that shit. I, what is that? Treasure Planet. Oh oh yeah, that movie. Fuck me, I forgot about this one. Wait, this is Disney? Was Treasure Planet Disney? I thought this was like a Fox anime, like Anastasia. Same people made Anastasia made this. That's weird. Okay. I did not know this was a Disney movie. I remember, you know what? I like this. Okay. I like this one more than Atlantis. I still think Atlantis has better visuals than Treasure Planet, but I think I like Treasure Planet more. Fuck me if I can remember anything about this one though. I, I do remember it was the relationship with the main character and that big pirate guy. But... Stru your boy's struggling to remember shit about this movie. I think I'm gonna put it at the end of Great. No, you know what? I don't think I like it more than Pinocchio or Mulan. I'm gonna put it below Pinocchio and Mulan. Treasure Planet, it's good. But definitely not as good as Pinocchio or Mulan, in my opinion. It's sure as hell not good as Lady and the Tramp. Alright, next. Brother Bear. Brother Bear, what the fuck? This... I guess this is Disney. 
This this is that weird era of Disney where I don't think Disney movies are Disney movies. What happened in this movie? Uh dude's brother gets killed by a bear. He gets mad, gets cursed, turns to a bear. Doesn't he kill like a, a bear? I don't fucking remember. I love Brother Bear. The, the only thing I remember from Brother Bear is the fucking moose. The Canadian guys. I'll put this in have not seen. I've watched it, but I don't remember anything about it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh oh. Oh, here's a here's here's one I had to rewatch years later, chat. Home on the Range. I never I never even knew this movie existed until like five or ten years ago. It's not a bad movie. Honestly, it's not bad. But goddamn, is it just like you could see why this didn't do good in theaters. I It's not the worst movie I've seen. I think it's better than Ooh. It definitely is not visually better than Atlantis. But I think I'd rather watch Home on the Range more than Atlantis. So I'll put it right below Bambi. No, wait. Do I want to do that? Hang on. Let me look at this shit. I gotta look at least Home on the Range. Let's see what pops up. The Yodel. Oh my god. Hang on. Let me see. Oh no. It's got the hypnotism shit. Oh man, this is really kind of a forgettable movie. Even the villain's kind of forgettable. Oh, this ain't good, y'all. I'm I, I'm sorry. You're getting bumped down. You're not bad. I'm gonna put you. I'd rather watch it than Peter Pan. How about that? I'd rather watch that over Peter Pan. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put that in meh. Chicken Little. Fuck this movie. It's trash. This movie sucked. It sucks. I hate it. You know what? Pocahontas, I think I was too harsh on you. I'm gonna put you in bad now. I think Chicken Little is the worst, one of the wor worst movies Disney ever put out. Pocahontas, you can you can sit right there in bad now. I forgot how about how bad Chicken Little was. I think I watched this movie and I think it was one of the few movies I had to like. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Why though? It's just a really bad movie. It this movie feels like what every 2000s movie felt like. Just really ugly. It had a lot of pop songs in it if I remember correctly. The characters were all unlikable. Weren't they all like fucking dicks to to the main character? And I know that's the point of the movie, but like everybody in the movie was just unlikable, man. And a lot of people was talking about the the dad. I don't remember the dad much in the movie, honestly. Oh yeah, wait, wasn't the dad like always like, I don't know, son. You've messed up a lot of shit in this town and well, the town hates you and I guess I do too. Like fuck that dad. Trash ass movie. Get in there. All right, next movie, Meet the Robinsons. I have never seen it. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. This is why I told you all a lot of these movies are going to be have not seens because I think this era 2000 and beyond is like a weird weird ass period where I just wasn't watching a lot of movies. Bolt. I like this one a lot. I really like this one, but... There's really no... There's really no... I guess the antagonist is being lost. It's like Homeward Bound. There's no villain in the in the movie, right? So to me, I'm like, okay, there's no, there's no stakes, really. It's a cute movie. I think I'll put it in Amazing. The business guy was kind of the villain? Yeah, but he, was, did he really do anything? I, I think I like it more just for Bolt and the cat and the hamster. Really, they're, they're the driving force behind the whole movie. But, I don't know, the superhero, the whole I'm a superhero but you're not really a superhero was kind of a fun thing. I don't think it's, I don't think it's that strong though. But I do think it's better than Jungle Book. So I'll put it like at the bottom of S tier. 
It's a chill kind of- yeah, that's a, it's, it's a comfy movie. Like, it's a movie you could turn on and just kind of sit there and watch it. Bolt discovering how to be a dog. Yeah, that was kind of nice. It was cute. Princess and the Frog. Guys, I know it's blasphemous. I know. I know. I know. I need to watch it. Everybody shut up. I know. I've heard it a billion- I know. Eventually, alright? I know it's one of the last movies they put out. I just have not seen it. I know, everybody. Alright, I know. Moving on. Winnie the Pooh. What is this? Your homework tonight is to watch all of these. Can I just watch Princess and the Frog and be done with it? I really don't want to watch Dinosaur again. Okay, I, I've seen bits and pieces of it. Like, I've seen the song with the villain. I, I know it's good. Okay, but... Chat, real talk. I have not seen Winnie the Pooh, right? But... But, I have seen this part. This part makes me want to watch the movie. Have y'all seen this part before? Where they all fall down a hole, right? And Piglet's up there and he's like, I gotta get y'all out, right? Have you seen this? This is from this movie. Look at the animation on this. It's like, it's, it, it, the writing on this is so on point, it makes me want to watch it. So, he gets a... <laughs> I love this. This right here is just fucking great writing. And so, like, he's like, okay. And I love the the expressions. Look at this shit. I love that they're all idiots, collectively. They all share one brain cell. Like, he doesn't realize he could just fly out. It's a fucking idiot. I love this movie. For this only. Like, so he's like, okay, we need a rope for each of us, right? <laughs> this shit is great. <laughs> this movie is if y'all if y'all y'all want to watch this just watch this scene right here. That right there convinced me this movie is probably worth watching. But this movie apparently bombed super hard in the box office, but I think that was cuz it was up against Harry Potter. So no one watched this movie and yeah, this is, I think, the last Winnie the Pooh movie we ever got in theaters. So, if y'all... Oh, wait, no, no, no. There was that weird live-action one. Not the horror one, but there was, like, one where Christopher Robin all grew up. But, yeah, chat. If y'all if y'all want a really funny Winnie the Pooh thing, watch that scene. I'm gonna put this in Have Not Seen. But at the top of it. Uh... What is this? Tangled. Have Not Seen. Wreck-It Ralph. I like this one a lot. I think... You no, know, you know what? I think I'll put an A. The first Wreck-It Ralph... was really good. But... I didn't realize how bad this one sounds. We're gonna skip this song. That, the Genesis cannot do that one. Alright. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, I think the first one, I think it's really good. I think it has a great message. I think, I, I personally was touched at the end, I don't know about y'all, with that final scene with Ralph being like, bad is not, wait, I'm evil and that's not bad, or bad is not good and I, whatever doesn't make me a bad person, as he's like plummeting to earth and stuff like that. Yeah, the first one is definitely like, it's a whole billion tears better than that fucking second movie. Uh, yeah, Sonic cameo's in there, but uh, Sonic's not the main reason I like it. I mean, he's only in there for like five seconds, but I think the movie itself is really good. So I'm gonna put that in A tier. I can watch that movie again and again. It's pretty fun to watch. Uh, Frozen, have not seen. Told y'all a lot of these are gonna be in have not seen. Big Hero 6? Okay, chat. I'm about to piss everybody in chat off right now. The wolf pack is about to riot. Big Hero 6? It's meh. I don't think I like this movie. <laughs> I don't think I like it. It's kind of dull to me. I... The only thing I like in the movie... 
is Baymax. I don't remember. I've I've watched the movie, and I don't remember anything about it. I just remember Baymax. Everybody likes. The okay, chat. Okay, tell me what's 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 the scene from this movie that has you guys saying this is a really good movie. Give me one good scene, at least one. Give me one good scene. I I will watch it. Maybe I can. Re maybe I'll be reminded. The ending scene, the final fight with Baymax. Ending fight? Yeah, I I even I'm struggling to even remember what half these characters are. I don't, yeah, I really don't like this movie that much. I'm sorry, guys. It was kind of boring for me. Even now I'm watching this, I'm like, yeah, I probably wouldn't rewatch this ever again. That's just how I feel, y'all. I'm sorry, I, I can't. I think it's, I, I don't know. I just can't put my finger on why it didn't click with me. I love superheroes. That's the thing. I love superheroes, and I just, I, I don't fucking, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand why this movie was so popular. It's just kind of meh. <laughs> Let's not forget the, it's a Marvel property by Disney. I do know that, but I don't know, I just think it was kind of boring. Oh no. Oh, uh, there it is. I, I, I figured this was coming. Y'all are going to hate some of my later opinions. Zootopia. God tier. That is a god tier. It doesn't matter where I put it as long as it's up here. There we go. We don't... What What needs to be said about Zootopia? It's a fucking amazing movie. Good message. I loved it. And, you, and here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I want y'all to... <laughs> I like it a lot. It's my, probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, top five for sure. But my mom has this thing where it's like, <sighs> if she watches an animated movie, if she if she likes it a lot, she will watch it to death. Lion King was one of those movies. Zootopia was another one. I remember we watched that together for the first time. It was this movie and Black Panther where she was just really into it. And she liked it a lot, and she was just like, that was a good movie. I took my mom to see this movie in theaters, and she liked it a lot. That was a, a really nice bonding experience I have with my mom. Taking her to see this and Black Panther are some really good memories I have of watching a movie with my mom. If you don't know, I'm very, very close to my mom. Uh, but, so, it, it kind of has that in the back of my brain, too. Good God. What's happening, my voice? Give me a second, chat. The sloth in the DMV part is actually opposite of reality. Is it green? Is it? Holy shit. I can think of, I can name like 10 parts of this movie that I like. But I'm gonna name five off the bat. The DMV scene. The, uh, the Mr. Big scene. Uh, the yoga part. The big reveal. If you haven't seen it, I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all. And the part that hits me the hardest is the part where uh, Nick and Judy are talking, and she's like, "There's a what? What the fuck did she say?" If you, if you, any of you have ever dealt with like any kind of racism, even kind of ignorant racism, <laughs> in a way, that scene hits really hard. Where you're like, "Ooh, you shouldn't have said that." The, where where Judy says like, um, "The predators have a are naturally." are naturally something to be violent or something like that. And then Nick's like, what the, what the hell was that up there? And, and she's like, oh, no, 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 Nick, you're not, you're not like them. And he's like, oh, there's a them now. And it's like, oh, fuck. You've, <laughs> that, that scene hit me really hard. I was like, oh, fuck, damn. How do they convert that into like animals? That works really well. Yeah, the part after the press conference. Yeah, where they go savage. And I like that Nick was like, no, you know what? I think it's best you don't have a predator for a partner. I'm like, Fuck! Damn! And and it's not that she was malicious about it. She was ignorant. She didn't know any better. She's raised on a fucking farm, and it's like, I don't know. I, I, 
I love the characters and everything in that movie, but... And, I, and the thing I like most about it is the apology scene after that, where she goes to apologize to Nick. She was like, I was stupid, I was ignorant. And it's a, it's a genuine, legit apology, and I'm like, damn. Really good. I, I think Zootopia's got tier, for sure. It's a good-ass message in there. And it's a simplified... It, and it to a point where even a child can understand it. Moana is next, chat. Yeah, it's just words, but they are exactly, especially when they flash back to Nick when he was a kid getting muzzled by those other kids, and it's like, oh yeah, that can bring back some shit that would hurt you if you've ever dealt with that kind of shit before. So yeah, words can hurt. Uh, I don't know, and also just the Nick's backstory too kind of hit home. All right, let's see. I could go- I could gush about Zootopia all day, but let's not. Let's go Moana. What do I- where do I put Moana? I think it's fine. I think- I think I put it below Tarzan. It's... fine. It's fine. What can I say except your- I- okay! I will admit that crab song does slap though. The shiny song! The shiny song slaps. Absolutely. Ah! Mm. It's fine. It's fine. I'll put Moana down and great. The shiny song. I, I would bump it to S tier for the shiny song itself. I love that shiny song. Oh boy, here we go. Ralph, Ralph wrecks the internet. Trash. That movie was such a- uh, I saw this in theaters, y'all, and I was just so disappointed. So disappointed. I... What else needs to be said? Have, if, you, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It just... You haven't seen it yet? Uh, I, I don't want to actually, you know, mess with your bias here or anything, but... Not worth the time, honestly. In my opinion, not worth the time. I think it does such a disservice to the first movie. But thankfully, the first movie still exists, so that it's all good. I... <laughs> all I'm gonna say is... I, I, I kind of agree with a lot of people who say that end part with Ralph is really creepy. I mean, I get what they're going for, but like, I think it's kind of creepy. I, I agree with a lot of people. That's not what they were probably going for, but like, I, I still think it was a little weird. So, I think the end stakes were... Not good. So... He was acting like a man-child. It just wasn't great. It wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad. The only thing I like about Ralph Breaks the Internet is when they go to Disneyland and they get to meet all the Disney characters. That was the best part for me. Other than that, it gets dull. Uh, let's see. Frozen 2. Haven't even seen the first one. Encanto. Well, chat? Where would you put Encanto? I know where I'm putting it. Let me take a sip of water? Of what? Uh? This is the song I kept telling y'all last year. Go see it in theaters. Go see it in theaters. I just saw Encanto. Go watch it. It's great, everybody. And then, and then, and everybody was like, "Hey, Wolfie, I saw Encanto. It's amazing." I was like, "I know, right?" And we can't talk about it on stream. This movie, God tier. I fucking love Encanto. I love it. It, it. it, Just the movie itself, not even talking about the music. The movie itself, I like a lot. But the music pushes that shit up for me. So, easily God tier. Easily God tier. I, I, can you guys tell what kind of movies I like a lot? Family themed movies. Lion King. One Drawn Dalmatians. Uh... Uh, the Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> uh, uh, Oliver and Company is a movie about family. Uh, uh, Lilo and Stitch. And can't I love movies that deal with family and family issues? And of course, we don't talk about Bruno. The uh, the pressure song. God, there's just all of them bangers. All of them good. So yes. <clears throat> and of course, the, I I think uh, the song that doesn't get a lot of. Uh, that's kind of underrated is the song that plays when the big reveal is happening with the the grandmother and what happened with her and how they got the house. That that part where she explains what, how their family got the way they were and has that 
I don't know what it's called, but I, 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 I don't speak Spanish. So, sadly, I won't be able to even, like... It's that really sad song. It's like, it's... Da, da, na, 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 da, whatever. I'm not even gonna attempt it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Two Caterpillars? Is that what it's called? Hold up. This one. This song. I'm gonna play like five seconds. This song, if y'all can hear it. When it's talking about the backstory and this song is playing, I think that is a beautiful song. I don't know if y'all have ever listened to it, but yeah, that song I think is really nice. Play Service Pro- I can't do that. I can't do that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that song is great, especially with the visuals they had there. But all right, next one. Rava, is that Rava and the Dragons? I've heard really, really good things about Rava, but I have not seen it. I need, I know it's on Disney Plus, I need to watch that. Yeah, y'all know I'm talking about that, that song that plays. That song is beautiful, it's really good. Uh, this movie is good, but, in all caps, okay, what's the but? I should- I, I definitely should watch it. It's, it's very controversial with some people. I wonder why. Hmm, okay. As in their races. Oh. Okay. That sounds interesting. Yeah, Raya... Uh, Raya and the dragon, whatever. I'm gonna put that on Nazi. Toy Story! Alright, y'all! Prepare- prepare yourselves, get your pitch- Hang on, let me just, uh... Need to get my safety gear on. We're about to piss off the wolf pack. Here we go. Toy Story. Meh. We're not gonna elaborate further. And eh, you know what? Put it in good. It's alright. I'll put it in alright. Bugs Life. Meh. Uh, Toy Story 2. But, I don't know, same place as Toy Story 1. Monster Zinc. I actually like this one. We're gonna put that one uh, next to Bolt. Amazing. I I actually like Monster Zinc. You know what? Actually, <laughs> all right. Time to time to see how pissed off Chat gets with this one. Finding Nemo. Okay, that one. That one's good. We'll put this one in S tier. Finding Nemo is good. I like that one. All right. Eh, below Hercules. I like Finding Nemo. Toy Story is the best. No, I I couldn't get into Toy Story as a kid. Uh, what's this one? Incredibles. This is my favorite Pixar film. This is my favorite Pixar film, but would I put it in SS tier? Was there a second Incredibles? I think there was. Oh my god, I saw that in theaters and I don't remember it. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put that one in God tier. No, I remember, I, the only thing I remember from the second Incredibles is that fucking horrible scene. And I saw that on the big screen, in the, in the dark. That shit will give you epilepsy so fucking hard. What were they thinking on that one? Cars have not seen it. Where's my suit? Where's my super suit? Yeah, if y'all if y'all thought that if y'all watched that on a tiny screen and you're like, ooh, imagine seeing that with like the giant theater screen. I'm sitting there covering my eyes, going like, ah! I'm like, I'm gonna fucking die. I don't even have I don't even have goddamn uh, el epilepsy, but that shit was trying to kill me. Ratatouille. <sighs> I think this movie's fine. I think it's fine. But I, I it's not it's not that strong for me. I think it's great. 
But that's about it. That's a far that's as far as it goes for me. Like I I, I have nothing else to say about that. Wally, have not seen it. Cars? No, I think I, I think the reason I ever watched Cars because it looked too goofy. I don't know, something about Cars just looked goofy to me. Even for me, that's how bad it looked for me. Up. Chat. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put up and meh. I'll put it below Big Hero 6. The only thing I remember about Up is the beginning part. I don't remember anything else about that movie. I'm struggling. The opening part was strong, but I don't remember anything else about that. You don't like Doug? Doug? Let's look it up! Up movie, Doug? Oh my god, that was this movie! Oh, holy shit! I completely forgot about this! I thought this was another Disney movie! I, I'm sorry, just for that, that's- that has to- that has to go in meh now. I- if I can't remember a dog in a movie, that's how meh it was. I got nothing on y'all, chat. I'm sorry. Maybe if I rewatch it again, maybe I'll like it, but I don't remember sh jack shit about this movie. Except the opening. With the- with the grandpa and- and, and his wife. When she gets sick and dies, that's the only part. <laughs> Toy Story 3. I saw this one in theaters. I think I'm gonna put this one- wait. Wait, what's- what's 3? What the fuck is 3? I know 2 was about- 2 was about the NRFB, never removed from box. What the fuck was 3 about? I've seen this in theaters. I'll put it in meh. Cause I don't actually remember this one. Daycare? Does not ring a bell. Uh, Matt's here then. The stuffed bear? They get dropped off at the daycare. <laughs> I don't know! Uh, what, trash compactor? Let me see this. Toy Story 3. Daycare. Oh, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of remember this. I kind of remember this now. I kind of remember this part. Jesus Christ. Okay, I kind of remember this. That's it. This. Okay, Chad. This is my favorite character, right here, the dinosaur guy. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in meh. I don't- I don't remember much about this movie. Cars 2 have not seen it. Brave have not seen it. Monsters University have not seen it. Told y'all this is gonna go fast at the end. Rex is the best character, yes. I will watch a whole movie on that character. This panic-driven dinosaur makes me laugh. Uh, Inside Out, I've seen this. And I think I liked it? I don't remember much of it. You know, chat, it's bad when I don't remember most of these movies. I have the- I have the memory of a goldfish, and I still remember shit I've seen when I was six years old. Inside Out. I think... I think I like Inside Out more than Ratatouille. But do I like it more than Monsters, Inc.? No. More than Jungle Book? No. I think I like it more than Tarzan, but not as much as Jungle Book. I think... You need to watch movies? This is a weird- th uh, these movies were a weird era in time for me. I- I didn't see a lot of these. Uh... Yeah, I'll put Inside Out below Jungle Book above Tarzan. I remember the part with, uh, Bing Bong or whatever. Ding Dong? Was it Ding Dong? Bing Bong? What was the guy's name? That's about it. Don't watch Cars 2? I never watched Cars 1, not even an issue, my friend. 
What's this? Is that Finding Nemo 2? Dory? They made a spin-off on Dory? Have not seen that. Was that movie any good? Finding Dory. They made a Finding Dory? What? When did that come out? Was that recent? Hang on. Finding Dory. When did that- 2016? Ah, wow, this one completely slipped my radar. I did not even- I didn't even know this was a movie. Okay. I know, right? I'm about to- I'm about to get a lot of money's worth out of my Disney Plus. If I remember correctly, Dory had the short-term memory, right? So this is about her looking for her family? It kind of sounds like a good idea on paper. Okay, but let me ask you this, chat. Are you guys saying it's good because it's just a retread of Finding Nemo? Like, if it's just a retread of Finding Nemo, I don't need to waste my time. That's what a lot of these sequels tend to be. Like, I feel Wreck-It Ralph 2 was just a retread of Wreck-It Ralph 1, but suckier. Same with Incredibles 1 to 2. The retread of the same thing. It's not the same? It's actually- Okay, chat, I'm list. I'm- I believe you. If I watch Finding Dory and I come back next stream and you see me doing this face... Y'all done goofed. That movie- that movie better not be a retread of Finding Nemo 1. Cause I do like Finding Nemo 1 a lot. So I'll check that one out. The Good Dinosaur. Okay, let's be real chat. Has anyone seen The Good Dinosaur? Let's be real. Has anyone actually seen that? Anyone? You have? You- a lot of people have- no? Okay. It's like a half and half. Half people are saying they have and half people said they haven't. Okay, for the people that have seen this movie, is it good? Because I have not. Where would you rate it? S, 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 A, B, C, D, F? Where would you put it? It was not good? Okay. <laughs> Damn, that guy said no in all caps. Said no, that movie sucked. We've got a lot to talk about in Discord, my friend. No, no, there's nothing to talk about. It was okay, there were some boring parts, but the end was really good. Was it basically Land Before Time? Because I like Land Before Time. What's this? Cars 3. I'm glad you put Chicken Little in the trash. It, it's where it belongs, Scoots. It's where it belongs. Cars 3. Have not seen it. You go right next to Cars 1, 2. Is 3 the one where the, where the red guy dies? Or they advertise them as dying or something like that? Racing will never be the same. They show them, like, getting bodied or something like that. But, uh... Alright. That's the one? Is that the last one because he actually dies at the end, or no? They haven't made a Cars 4. I have... Yeah, I've never seen the Cars movie either. Coco! Okay, you know what the worst part is? I liked Coco until I saw Encanto. <laughs> I was like, oh! I actually really like Encanto, but for some reason, Coco got knocked down. Ah, where do I want to put in Coco? Remember me. Remember me. Um, I like it. I remember, remember me. I like, I think I like this one. The, I think my only main issue with this film is it had the predictable Pixar twist villain. If you guys know what I'm talking about, the predictable Pixar twist villain kind of usually takes me out of it because I'm like, oh, they did it again. But other than that, I think I like this one. I'll put it... Like, I think the movie would have been great without that whole twist thing. But I, I guess they had to have it for the other reveal of, if you haven't seen it, spoiler. Not saying it, but yeah. I'll put it... I think I liked it more than Inside Out. I will say that. So I'm going to put it in A tier. Huh. <laughs> McQueen never died? Okay. No need to shout, my friend. I was just saying, I thought he died. Because the, the way they advertised it, it looked like he died. Oh no, don't play that! That's copyright. That was close.
That was really close, chat. Okay, uh, what's another Disney game that they made? A Disney, uh... <laughs> I'm just staring at you guys blankly because I got nothing right now. <laughs> we need more music. <laughs> uh... Oh god, Pocahontas had a game on Genesis? Why? Bet the music is as trash as the movie was. Hang on. Pocahontas. Sega Genesis. Music. Alright, well. We're listening to Pocahontas now. This is all we got. Okay, next up is Incredibles 2. I need help on this one, chat. I don't know how to feel on Incredibles 2. I saw it, but I don't feel strongly one way or another. I, is that, that's technically meh, right? Below Big Hero 6, probably? Like... The only part I remember about Incredibles 2 was the fucking, the movie trying to kill my ass in the theater. Yeah, I don't think... I think Incredibles 1 is definitely better than that one. But... Do you remember the raccoon scene? No. What raccoon scene? Jack-Jack has his powers? Yeah, it's still not enough to save this movie. I'll put it in meh. No, you know what? I think I like it better than Toy Story, at least. And Atlantis. There, we'll put it below Bambi. Bambi is like my... Is my, is my cutting ground for, like... Things I actually like. Toy Story 4, I saw this in theaters. It kind of felt... Unnecessary? I feel? And I don't even like Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, but I felt Toy Story 4 felt unnecessary. But I think, I think people like Toy Story 4. I think this is one... If you like Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, this is definitely like... Uh, this will make you cry at the end, maybe? I don't know. I got nothing out of it, honestly, but I think that's just because I don't like Toy Story. <laughs> I don't even know why I went to see it in theaters now that I'm thinking about it. I think I was hoping one of these movies would hit, but no. Toy Story 4 shouldn't exist. I don't think... Ugh. Oh. Keanu Reeves is in this movie? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, we're on our last Final Five chat. Onward, haven't seen that. It, it, it kind of looked dull to me. Is that, is that a Disney one or is that a Pixar one, chat? Is Onward Disney or Pixar? I feel like that was a Disney one? They should have stopped in all honesty. Yeah, so a lot of people are saying 4 was kind of unnecessary. So you're in agreement with me. Hey! That's, that's the first time chat has been on my side for this. Pixar? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Onward didn't look that good. Like, they're trying to get their dad, and the dad's a pair of legs or something like that, and I'm like, okay, sure. Soul. Soul! I haven't seen it. I heard it's okay? Maybe we'll watch it someday. Um... So you'll watch those movies, but you don't watch half the movies you haven't seen? Well, the thing is, if, if the if the movie is in theaters, I'm more incentivized to see it. But most of these movies came out when I wasn't going to the theater. Most of these movies came out when I was, like, either moving or something like that. Luca, have not seen it. Turning Red, I have seen this one. Turning Red, where would I put this one? Luca's great? Luca, okay. Luca and and Rhea are both like movies I wanted to watch, but never I got around to doing it. Is Lu which one is better, Luca or Rhea of the Dragons? No spoilers for Red. Okay, turning Red. Do not spoil chat. But 
I think this movie was. I. I. You know what, Chad? I was pissed. I was pissed. Luca's better. Really? I was pissed off because they were advertising turning red in theaters for the longest time, and I fucking wanted to see it on th on the big screen. But then they put it on Disney Plus instead. Pissed me off. I'll put turning red. I like the style of it. It had very expressive characters. But is it strong? I do have Disney Plus. But 99.9 .9 of my, t my time spent on Disney Plus is just watching, uh... What do I watch on Disney Plus? Like the Disney Saturday morning cartoon shit I used to grow up on. I watch a lot of Tailspin and DuckTales and... I don't actually watch the movies. Oh, and 101 Dalmatian Street. Because I like that show a lot. Uh... They put... I, put, I watched Turning Red, Red on Disney+. Plus. I think I'll put it below... Uh, mm. Like, I could watch it again, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's S tier. I think it's right below Lady and the Tramp. Like, I understand the messaging, what they're going for in that movie. I get it. But I feel they didn't do it justice. Didn't do it really, not justice, didn't do it as good as I hoped. Why on earth would you complain it's on a service you have? I wanted to watch it on the big screen. That's why. Lightyear? Trash. I saw that in theaters and fell asleep during it, so... Speaks for itself. Alright, y'all. Uh... Actually, it wasn't trash. It was just boring. It was boring. Alright. Yeah, okay. Let's review the tier list now. My my hottest take tier list. These are the Disney movies that mean a lot to me. Uh, in the have not seen, we have Winnie the Pooh. Wait, let's get a close-up of this. On the have not seen, we have Winnie the Pooh, all these other films. It doesn't matter because we haven't seen these. Maybe one day we'll watch these. Lightyear's amazing, what do you mean? I don't know, it was boring. <laughs> it was boring! I fell asleep halfway through that film. Trashed here, we got Chicken Lil. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, The Internet. Those are trash movies. Bad movies. Black Cauldron, Pocahontas, the thing we're currently listening to. Uh, Toy Story 4 and Lightyear. Meh, Big Hero 6, Up, A Bug's Life, Sleeping Beauty, Home on the Range, Peter Pan, Cinderella, Snow White, Fantasia, Ichabod and Mr. Toad, it's Toy Story 3. In Good, we have Mulan, Pinocchio, Treasure Planet, Fantasia, Bambi, Incredibles 2, Atlantis, Toy Story 1 and 2. Great, Jungle Book, Coco, Inside Out, Tarzan, Ratatouille, Moana, Rescuers, Aristocats, Alice in Wonderland, Three Caballeros, Lady and the Tramp and Turning Red. Amazing S tier we have. Emperor's New Groove, Wreck-It Ralph, Sword in the Stone, Hercules, Finding Nemo, Rescuers Down Under, Dumbo, Fun and Frenzy Free, Bolt, Monsters Inc. And finally at the God tier, these are the best of the best movies I will watch no matter what time of the day it is. And I probably watch them multiple times on Disney Plus. Lion King, 101 Dalmatian, Zootopia, Fox and the Hound, Robin Hood, Great Mouse Detective, Oliver and Company, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Lilo and Stitch, Encanto, and Incredibles. Thank you all for watching my tier list. Now you know my, my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? That is it for the tier list of the Disney variety. There we go. Apparently, I have a lot of movies I gotta watch. So, thank y'all for that. If this ever gets uploaded to YouTube... This is the part where we cut it off. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all next time for more controversial hot takes by me, Wolfie. Bye!